look. Uh. I'm going to rise when I'm ready. Yeah, my eyes might be heavy, but I'll grind till I'm wealthy. And it's not about that money that you make. It's all about the love and try to rise above the hate. So rise up to the challenge. Show them all your talent. Show them that you're famous. Show them you ain't average. Make them understand shit. You can make it happen. Try to take advantage of everything they take for granted. Yeah. Try to take advantage of everything they take for granted. Yeah. It's one way, baby. We all the way to the this top. This is my type of party. Hey. I like this. This is my like type this. of party. Shout out Don Kennedy, man. Yeah. The real shit. Look. 16's and instrumentals, I'm hurting those. I feel the same way even when the curtains close. Cause I'm a real nigga. I know for real niggas that'll spray you and lay you for dollar bills, nigga. Mm. Cause they prefer the life sentence over living broke. And I don't give away a lot, but shit, I'm giving hope. Hope? It's all falling down, just like precipitation. I had a few altercations and some situations. You're listening to On The Go Voice Podcast. The best generational podcast you'll ever tune into. Listen to the voices of this generation where we seek to identify values, stimulate discussions, and vocalize the community. guys welcome to on the go voice podcast i'm your host charles sabiaga and today for the express creativity series i actually don't have my co-host for today he got busy occupied with some family stuff however what i wanted to bring up was um you know this 805 area it's beautiful there's a lot of things to do however it can also a lot of people can also have a lot of uh, misconception about it you know with the past history and type of things but there's a lot of beautiful things aside from the ocean aside from the mountains aside from the view and the atmosphere we also have a lot of creative people and with that being said we have a lot of people who've come up you know we have anderson pack we have famous boxers out here that are well known uh, jamie boy is on the rise as well there's a lot of things and with that being said you know, before people even blow up or even get to a part, part where people start to know them, you know, we don't get the chance to actually know the people who are actually grinding and hustling and making stuff happen. So with that being said, you know, I actually have someone, a group of uh, a music production uh, group right here, um, you know, One Way Sounds. I met, uh, I, I, I've been friends with Marcus for since... We went to high school yeah. and uh, we linked up recently and told me about his friend Dre who then told me about their whole group together also Don right here so with that being said guys um, you know why don't you guys introduce a little about yourself for anybody listening so they know a little bit more about who you are and what you do just a little background you know okay uh, I'll go first um, yeah. Don Kirk I'm from Raleigh North Carolina yes, sir. Um, I moved out here about I got out of the army and the beginning of last year i uh, moved out here as soon as i could you know what i'm saying the summertime so been in the 805 for a little bit but i'm definitely loving it uh i i don't know too much of the history of it i just know a couple people that are from it uh, nice. i met you know some people i knew uh marcus through the army i met dre through the army but it was it's dope being here and i love the culture here so. yeah i love it well you're, wel- you're welcome here man we <coughs> love having creative people out here and uh what about you dre uh my name is dre for everybody's listening dre jack uh i met both of these guys in the army i met marcus back in what like 2014 mm-hmm. it's like 2014 and we've been like freaking peanut butter and jelly since mm-hmm. so that's been like my boy i met jay nice. a little later and we've been the same we've been rocking ever since uh love it. i came out here what the end of 2018 yeah end of 2018 no like november 2018 and i've been out here since just still trying to get my feet wet on the music scene and trying to insert myself in those certain spaces but uh shit that's about it we just 
just trying to. <laughs> and before we jump in, Mark, just so you know, I listened to your music, bro. When he introduced me, I was like, dude, this guy has a lot of potential. I so, appreciate that. I appreciate um, so it. So I was like, oh, yeah, heck yeah, I'm down to do this with, with my podcast. So I'm starting to learn how to round it to people so that I can bring people up and use my platform to kind of like, you know, highlight and put that highlight on you guys. Yeah. But with that being said, you know, our concept in here is I wanted you guys to share your story on how you guys came about. With that being said, Marcos. I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> I want people to know about you, you know. I know you're kind of like, you know, I've been out with the management and everything yeah. like that. But just, you know, bro, introduce yourself. Um, for most of the people that watch the podcast probably know me. Marcus from yes, Oxnard, sir. California. Um, yeah, I just met them in the Army. And no. uh, I listened to his music one day and just, that was back in like 2014, 2015. And ever since then, I was like, yo, why are you in the Army? Your music's too good. You should be in the Army. You know? You're just Danny wasting your time. Right like, you know. <laughs> And ever since then, I've just been believing in it. It's something I believed mm-hmm. in that it could blow up one day, you know. And then um, we, I got out, moved back home, and then uh, I called him. We've been talking about him moving out here for so long, and then we finally got him to move out here. Right. And then Jay fo- uh, Don Kirk followed a little bit after, and then um, here we are today, just trying to make it work. Uh, promotion is the hardest thing. Uh, oh, we'll uh, talk I, about that too. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Okay, cool. One way music. Right. Yes. Where Where did you guys come up with that? Or let's let's what What is one way music about? Uh, one way is more or less a thing that like we came together, me and Dom. Uh, what a couple years back? Mm-hmm. It was probably like 2017, 20. Yeah, yeah 20, something like that. It was uh, it was right before we went to Germany. Right before we went to Germany, and it was kind of like something that we something that we started together. Mm-hmm. It was more or less of like just just us coming from different perspectives coming from different places on the map but just having the same direction and that's just trying to get to the top with the music thing so it's just something that we we started and we stuck with and here we are in california just trying to keep it rolling yeah i love it man i love it i love the fact that you guys are on the like little go like just working hustling and uh marcus told me a lot of good things about you guys are always in the studio or somewhere yeah trying to do something yeah masterminding putting together that being said what's your role marcus or what do you uh, how did you get involved um, well, he, he's just like, yeah, I want to be like help with management. I'm uh, like, all right, you know, uh, nice. but I try to help like with, uh, thinking of ways to like, to get their music out there, you know, cause uh-huh. like a lot of people know me, but I guess like, cause you know, like, um, let's say like you have somebody that just sends you music every day, you know, yeah. you don't really listen to it cause they're like pushing oh, the issue. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. So it's they're like that annoying guy that sends that uh-huh. link in your so I try to or do the like, guy yeah. before SoundCloud listen to my mixtape. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. So yeah. I try to like avoid all of that and just like, I don't know. It's, it's just hard, honestly. Uh-huh. That's, that's what I'm still trying to figure out as a, as a, like, I do mainly more of the promotion than anything. So Got it's it. like, I'm just trying to find out creative ways to keep them posting on their their uh, Instagram studio right, right. content and everything. Yeah, yeah. So. And and I have a lot of ideas, so I'm like I'm excited for you guys to be here. So we're gonna like you know put some minds together. Yeah. Because you know, I got some ideas for this uh, series. Okay. That I want you guys involved in, but you know, um, as of right now, what what kind of music do you guys produce? Like you know, what's that kind of vibe? I mean, I I love it. I love it here, but like I want you guys to kind of verbalize it for anybody listening as well. I know uh, our, our main genre is rap, mm-hmm. hip hop, uh, dabbling a little R&B, it's more or less of his lane, what else okay. would you say? Uh, just real, just telling our stories yeah. pretty much, as, as long as it's coming from me and where I came from mm-hmm. and making sure I'm telling my original story okay. and it's authentic, then that's it. And the same with Dre. It's just, yeah. We don't try to like, we don't try to limit ourselves, we don't try to mm-hmm. put ourselves in a box. Got it. Like I said, uh, it, it, it roots from hip hop, but from there... Whatever comes out, comes out. Right, right, right. But with that being said, you know, um, you said making yourself make sure you're not out of the box. But like, just for a little context, or maybe if you can give a little description of what kind of music you guys talk about, or what direction you guys like to talk about. Uh, I know for myself, it's a, a lot of personal experiences, like things that I've been through. Mm-hmm. Listen to my music; it's a lot of things that I've been through. A lot of uh, like a lot of goal chasing, a lot of things that I'm trying to do, and I, I think I reflect that in my music a lot. Mm-hmm. Like as far as uh, trying to make it in music and right, right. being from Virginia and kept coming from what I came from, I okay. try to reflect all of that in my music. And I think Don does a lot of the same as well. Exactly. Okay. And it's more, I think, perseverance for us. Is for sure. We're definitely from the bottom and we're not mm. afraid to like, you know what I'm saying, embrace that and take it and 
show other people it's all right to be you you know what i'm saying <laughs> we're in that uh time frame i feel like a lot of people are starting to come out and be like you know and then talk about certain issues and we yeah. do that a lot with our music okay so that's what we're really trying to do yeah, push that envelope we come from different worlds You're, you guys are on the other side of yeah, the country yeah of course but with that being said you know what you mentioned perseverance from the rock bottom what what do you what do you guys mean by that or like how, what did you guys go through because for me i i came from the philippines you know my mom was hustling like multiple jobs with my dad for the last seven years while i was born out there just so you guys know born in philippines yeah um my mom was hu hustling with two multiple jobs while my dad would visit maybe once or twice a year for like two weeks or a month you know so i didn't really get the chance to see my dad as often however i saw my mom hustle a lot you know and i was privileged enough to have enough so that i didn't have to kind of like you know put myself out there as much and i had to, i could focus on school even though that's not really what i wanted yeah. in the future however when i got here i i don't even think i experienced like the rock bottom to be honest with you you know like i have my own struggles but with that being said with you guys persevering just for a little context i kind of want to know what you guys went through i know uh me growing up i came uh, i'm i'm one of four boys and i was brought up in a, a single parent home my mom yeah so just just seeing that from a young age it just it, it gives you that, that that hunger to want more mm -hmm. so me coming from that background i'm 14 15 years old mm -hmm. work, working my first job just yeah, yeah, yeah. just just to do my part in the household yeah. you know so i take that with me and, and just bring it along and add that to my my repertoire of tools and it's right, like right. I, I keep that hustle with me just to remember where i came from and it's yeah, like hey I, this is how i got it and I, this is how i'm gonna get it and keep doing it so where, where did you work first uh i know like my first couple jobs uh, my uncle was a contractor, a contractor. and so we did that for everything. houses yeah Real housing uh he like he was like a fixer upper type of okay. guy like, he home did renovation. anything from nice. hanging sheetrock to shingles on roofs so yeah, i yeah. was out there helping him uh, I worked at Sonic for like three days. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just like little little odds and end things that I was just trying to do to like make the burden lesser okay. for my mom. And like I said, I had three other brothers mm -hmm. as well, two three younger brothers. and one older. So okay. everybody's trying to do something to help out, and I just that was my that was my portion of help, okay. which I thought at the time. So like I said, it's just it's all hustle for me, man. It's just just seeing that that hustle with my mom. It's yeah. like. I reflect that a lot in everything I do today. Right. So, so now I can see that your mom and especially your your siblings have become a very important oh, yeah. part of it. that kind of contributed to your drive Most today. Definitely. You know what what got you involved in music? Uh, Why? When did you decide? You know what? Music oh, is. I'm gonna do music. Like I don't like music has just been. It's always been there, man. And it, yeah. it's it's something that my mom just instilled in me as well. Like. My mom introducing me to early music on when I was a kid from Mary J. Blige to DMX to everything that was cool oh, at that time, yeah. like that early, that golden era of music uh -huh. as everybody calls it. Uh, what else was cool back then? Ja Rule was cool back then, the Shanti, so like all the, yeah, of course, so Jay-Z. Cool, I mean, they're not, I was like. But I'm saying uh, compared to today, you yeah. know, but like back then the spins were crazy. So just, just growing up into that in that era of music is just it was something that i was always attached to mm -hmm. so when it came out i don't know like it was like what is it called career day at school everybody's like what do you want to do and i was like that one kid that i was like i, I back then i was kind of scared to say it i was just wrote it on a piece of paper yeah. and i wanted to rap <laughs> and uh, it was a talent show i did like when i was a kid and that's when i like i really realized uh, it was uh remember the dare it was like a dare what is it the, the dare drug program thing they had a, a oh, talent yeah. show they had a talent show at my school and uh i did like a little rap and mm. From that point, I was like eight or nine years old. I was like, right, I'm gonna right, be a rapper, right. man. I'm gonna be a rapper. Right. How how did um what how old were you when you started that talent show? Uh, I was like eight or nine at the time mm -hmm. at the talent show. It was like I was like yeah, I had to be like eight or nine, still like elementary school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Don? I mean, uh, what I'm curious about why your story? I mean, you're how old are you? you uh, look, I'm 24. 24, and I'm 26. Yeah, you look a little young. I know. I look like I'm like <laughs> freshly yeah, 17. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> yeah, I know. You know yeah. I'm like, dude, I look like I'm 15. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no facial hair. That's probably what I it is. I just shaved last night too. So I was like, all right, let me take this out of the way. But yeah, what's the, what's your, what's your story? You know, I mean, you said North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, I spent some time in New York too. Uh, my mom moved to New York when we were uh, young, so I got some of that. Um, just had a, like a, my life has just been all over the place, man. Um, mm -hmm. my mom has been uh. She, her and my stepdad uh, parted ways, so it was kind of just like the same thing Dre was saying, you know, it's kind of me and her against the world. So at a young age, it was kind of like I was doing the same things, trying to figure it out. 
um, we got evicted from my house when I was like oh, 15, damn. and that like really changed it. And that's when I started writing poetry. And mm. like, I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody because I was embarrassed about shit. You know? What okay. I'm uh, excuse my French. Um, no, be good, bro. Um, and I just felt like, oh man, how do I? How am I gonna keep going? And then right. I just I heard. Um, I think it was Eminem. Okay. That's why, uh, cause I'm white and I'm black. So oh. my my original dad is black and African American, mm. and my uh, mom is white. So okay. I felt more, you know, Eminem story at that time. And then yeah. I heard J Cole, and I was just like, oh, these people J. are Cole. doing the same thing that I'm trying to do. Yeah. They're introspective. They're writing their stuff down, and it's therapeutic for them. So why not do that for me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so I started sure. doing that and telling my story. And oh, okay. through that, it was helping people. You know what I'm saying? That's that's so, so that's that's so true. I love the the emphasis on like using it as a platform to kind of like put your feelings. That's what you're doing too, bro. And I and appreciate that. Man, that's, that's, what, dope. that's what I was trying to relate with, you know, because yeah. this is exactly why I do this thing. Because I want that voice to be amplified. I want the younger people to know what people are going through. Like I don't want like it'd be maybe here and then, maybe in the future I'll be interviewing like top people of course you will cool which is fine but like at the end of the day i want it to be emphasizing on the younger folks like how can i bring them up you know yeah. well, with that being said like i like i said i love the fact that you guys are using it as a platform to kind of rap um i don't know i i always wonder how some people come about when they flaunt a lot of like more materialistic stuff you know and then they're just all about the more the money there's like you know i mean it's cool that they still got themselves up there but however i i don't see a lot of like creativity with artists in the aspect of just like creating something that's like Original. their voice their voice yeah you know i mean it's cool that goes right you might need that to kind of like fix up the grammar and you know fucking put something that makes sense yeah but when i'm listening to music i start to see myself being more into the beats which is cool then i'll consciously be like yo like I, I want something that feeds my mind you know and then when i hear somebody who talks something about very lyrical sh lyrical shit like i'll be like oh damn that's substance what's this guy yeah uh, exactly substance and with that being said you know um how long have you guys been in the in, like officially officially like starting to grind hard like together now i'll say since the one way project mm -hmm. well no before that because you've been I don't know. I kind of want to, whenever we get into the story of how we kind of met, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. I'll, I'll say like 20, 2015, 2014. 2015? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, we've probably prior to that been writing and mm -hmm. writing, but to be on the scene, probably like 2014. Okay. Actually, like taking, taking recorded music seriously, 2015. 2015? Yeah. What, what did you guys start with? You guys put it on YouTube? Oh, SoundCloud? Sorry, excuse me. SoundCloud or? Uh, my first project, I actually. Uh, yeah, back then, uh, that pin. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we used to, uh, back in the, the, the Little Wayne days, uh, we used to, everybody used to run in that piff and download right. mixtapes off that piff. So uh, I was the way. piggybacking off of that, my first project is actually on that piff. Mine and, uh, too. So that's where my first project was. I think that was like 2014, 2015. Uh -huh. I think f after that, everything is SoundCloud, iTunes. Okay. Yeah. There was other platforms that yeah, back then, right? Exactly. It yeah. It wasn't. It, there was. It was super hard to get your stuff on anything other than YouTube back yeah. then. So, yeah. Was, Did you guys put your stuff on you? Are you guys on YouTube yeah, now? Some stuff on you. Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. I, I, that's where it's at. Obviously, it's. I wouldn't say it's saturated because there's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I know, yeah. but like when it comes down to it, it's just like I, I notice that it's more the people that stay in the longer game, mm -hmm. and also the people who consistently become creative and adapt, and then they don't just like say, "Hey, this is what it is," and then we'll just take it from there. They're like always adapting and mm -hmm. looking Trying for like stuff. different stuff. Exactly what it Especially is. Especially with content, you know. Yeah. How, how do you get yourself out there? You know that that yeah. marketing part. That's, so, yeah, yeah, this, this is what we're talking about, about. man. Yeah. I love this conversation right yeah. here. But what what have you guys tried so far? Like as of right now here in the eight hundred five, because we have a lot of creative people yeah. and a lot of people to work with. But I don't see a lot of collaborations. That's this what it's I'm on saying. The way. It's on the you way. Know? There's a lot of dopeness in the eight hundred five. I think I, I there met is. this dude named uh, Louis Vaughn. Shout out to him. You mm. know what I'm saying? He's eight hundred five. So I, I'm trying to uh, link with everybody in eight hundred five. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's a lot of dope talent. It's just on it the definitely is. Yeah. Just here in LA and all this in California. Let's just talk about the eight hundred five. LA is like a pole oh, yeah. big monster. Because <laughs> when I was out there, it was always crazy people. But with <coughs> excuse me, with that being said, you know, um, 
something that I know, something that I like call, correlate with when it comes down to music or just in sense of like creating, making your own business. Like, I don't feel there's a lot of competition because the only competition is with yourself. True. You know, that's very cliche, it's whatever. Very like, it's yeah. very true though. But I see it as if like your uniqueness is the only thing that makes you stand out. Like if you can authentically find yourself completely like like you know your real self your self-awareness understand yourself who you are where you came from and appreciate it every wholeheartedly you're just like unbeatable like if you can see that and maximize it i think it, if you see it i yeah. think that's i don't i spent so much time looking like oh where do i go find myself when it's not even i just had to realize i'm here i've yeah. always been here i just had to believe it uh -huh. that's where it comes from same it's, here bro, yeah, I, bro. you've always been who you Man. are it's just right? you had to make everybody else mm -hmm. believe it. and that's what we're in the midst of doing is showing yeah, it like true, Trey true, Jack true. been Trey Jack boy no, <laughs> I'll tell true, you what true true I love it that yeah. the fact that we've always been who we are from, yeah. the, start, from the start that's totally something that like you know some something that we need to con conceptualize as a identity for ourselves and once we get into that and align with that vision of who we are and who we want to be it's just like dude you're unbeatable like yeah. no one it's can a stop whole you different bro level, dog. like like oh you hear this noise right here like well, well, you know, like, hey, bro, your, your content sucks. Like, who, who are you? Exactly. exactly <laughs> you know, you just focus. But I, I'm curious. I know Marcus has been a little quiet here because I'm just like, bro, um, what, what's your experience so far? Like, what, what, are you, what are you guys doing differently or what are you guys uh, working on as of right now to put yourself out there? Um, content coming out with, like, uh, videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a video we just shot for uh, his two-minute drill. Um, we plan on dropping that sometime at the end of this month. Oh, yes, sir. Go uh, get that. Premature Legend. Go get that. Yeah. First, first video. So, like, first official video that they've had out. So. And it's dope, too. Yeah. It's super dope. Oh, I bet. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> man, that's why I'm like, dude, like, this is, let me yeah, see you guys' dope. shit, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, it's just learning how to promote. Like, and I've been just, like, watching YouTube videos, like, trying mm -hmm. to teach myself, you know, because... I'll get people that like just spam my inbox like they've been doing that since like high school you know and it's just like that's not the right way to approach it no, I, I feel like it's not you know that's and I don't want to do that I don't want to do that to anybody else because I know they're not going to listen to it so I just yeah. I just post it on the story and just kind of like hope people listen and you know um, I do get those onesies and twosies that I end up listening and they're like yo this shit is actually dope and I'm like yeah it is I just don't like you know I don't want to keep like spamming you know uh -huh. I don't want to use it that way but um, well, I just I'm just learning as I go and yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so so one thing I learned from this, I, I talk a lot about him too on my podcast. His name is Gary V. He yeah. talks about he talks about jab, 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 right hook. Like yeah. a lot of people always go into the right hook right away, mm -hmm. you know, which is like sending out the links. Mm -hmm. And I think that even me working as a twenty four hour fitness too, like I do their Instagram. Mm -hmm. One thing I learned that has been really effective that gets people's attention is to use your platform as a way to televise, not to promote. Like I would say maybe like fifteen percent you're promoting, you know, when you're asking for it. But like to televise, create content, create entertainment, Show them create what you're doing. a way to get grab attention. That's honestly what I'm doing with my podcast and my content and my Instagram, Twitter. I'm just looking for ways to grab people's attentions. You know, this is one way I get people's attentions. You know, oh, dang, he's doing it with other artists too. Yeah, because that's my freaking values. I'm fully authentic with it, and I don't think anybody can stop me. But, like, if we you, because like, a lot of companies I see, they only use it for promotion, marketing, marketing, marketing. We're tired of that, especially exactly. as millennials. But if you can use it as a way to kind of educate people, inform, entertain, make people laugh, like you guys being on, on, on podcast here, if I were you guys, I would have had something recorded me right there because that way I wouldn't have to ask for me. Hey, Charles, can you send me a video? Yeah, put nice. that out. I find something that's really funny. Put that on Instagram. I'm like, oh, damn. Like, I get to know a little about these guys. That's a way to promote yourself. People always want to feel like they know you too. So yeah, that's true. People that's want to I'm feel saying. like they're a part of it. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, I think with the social media too is that because there's a lot of famous people, we kind of we kind of fixated ourselves to think that we have to look and act and move the way this the way they do yeah and instead what we should be doing is documenting we should be kind of like posting every little thoughts that we have when we can to try to add value try to connect people to get people to know you and over time that will build up because then now you're feeding your thoughts you're building this identity of who you said you are you know but um with that being said like um I know you guys have a music video coming up, 
like what what are what are some ways that you guys are doing to kind of like work with the local area like are you guys doing collaborations or i know i know that's in the mix i know uh me yeah i'm just working uh i'm trying to figure out how many collabs right now i'm doing mm-hmm. for my album just enough time it's gonna come uh yeah. sooner this year um I'm just trying to figure that out right now because there's a lot of dope and I like to collab with a lot of people because music yeah. to me is a collaborative like, so, experience. You know what I'm saying? But it, I also want to keep my, you know, of course, saying? of course, you want to get my you. my opinions out there. Too, yeah. So I'm trying to figure that out, but I love it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, you don't even have like I don't know if you guys saw this. Like, um, who was it? Uh, Lil Nas, and then he he did it randomly with Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. Like that's like yeah. fucking weird, bro. Yeah. Like a country and like rap. Like you don't have to like stick to steam and hey you're a hip hop artist too let's fucking do something together but like maybe someone like you guys come into me as a podcaster and someone who's into marketing business sales that's collab right stuff. there that's collaboration <laughs> it's fucking content you know um but for you guys you know like you guys you guys have a lot of potential especially with the quality you guys have already if you just bring people over and focus on building a community it'll be oh, dope yeah. that's that, that's the plan i know that, that that's the overall gym uh-huh. plan like we between us, myself and Don, we've got collaborations uh-huh. galore. Just between the, the two of us, but if you let me collab with anybody, I'm gonna try to. If they dope, I'm gonna try to collab yeah. with them. That's how I think about it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hey, you, you got you got some plans, Marcus, or you might maybe you thinking about some of the things I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, just talking about plans as far as like, um, I know like one day we want to actually like do a show for like 805 artists, uh-huh. um, like host a show for it. Right, you know? right, right, right. Um, and then have like people come out, you know. Um, Slum Boys, you got fucking Jamie Boy, you got Dude, there's so many people, yeah. Marley. A lot yeah, of people Marley. don't know about Marley. Yeah, it's really Marley, good. Marley, Marley. Uh, Dylan. Dylan. And then um both them boys. Bayer. Yeah, you got all them. And uh-huh. We just wanna like have them all come together and have like a big show, you know, see it yeah. see if we can get a lot of people from the eight oh five out there, which I think we can. So are, are, the eight oh five. Are you guys working with like local clubs or people who have that platform for you guys to do something? Yeah, we're, in the, we're we're actually yeah. in the works of that now. I know that's something that that Mark and management's been working on. It's okay. like trying to actually locate a venue to, mm-hmm. to like do something like that, and that that's like the early stages of it. But I do know that, that that's something that we're even, definitely even trying just to a do. collaboration. You're like, hey, yeah. you know, if you guys like us, then cool, we'll keep coming up, and then you know, we'll find some way to boost your your sales or exactly. whatever revenue. I think the p- most part, if you guys are working with company, my experience is the better you can find a way to find a way for them to make profit oh yeah fact. most of definitely course. yeah most that's definitely more than likely bring a crowd yeah, yeah most definitely collaboration that's exactly. where it's at you know? exactly that's what they're interested goals. in so you know but that's cool like um that, that i'm actually curious because uh, you know i don't have experience in the artist world however i thought about this thing like huh how, how would i market myself if i was yeah. an artist you know but uh other than that like um speaking of ideas for cypher what i wanted to do i'll put this on live right now podcast is that i wanted to basically um i wanted to create a cypher for the data five but like with local artists i'm gonna start small but the reason why is gonna want to bring those guys up i want them to have another platform totally something different top that's a collab lab you know? i like, like that idea it's a, a win-win yeah. like we can fix something up I was, i'm already talking to someone who's a beat music producer so he can push his music up and uh on top of that we also have um we also have someone who can do a videos so, but with that being said, you know, uh, let me take a pause real quick. Okay. Just cause that. All right, guys, welcome back to uh, On The Go Voice Podcast, Express Creativity with One Way Sounds. Uh, had a little break real quick. So uh, we were talking about um, bringing them on on the during the break as well before we started this, and to also try to create a first ever cipher session for this podcast. Dope. How's that sound to you guys? Sounds, that sounds dope. dope. Sounds right. <laughs> it sounds pretty feels right. So that gives me an idea too to like have like a have the 805 artists like just come together and have a cypher and just let it be oh, play like you know what i'm saying bro go f- i'm awesome let's see, <laughs> film it. let's see if we can like an old warehouse dude. type thing and just like film it out fuck yeah have somebody on the ones if you and twos fuck up, fuck it, you know? and just have yeah. everybody like, in like a doc- big ass bro, like document such a vibe, dog, yeah dude. document like you know you guys making mistakes or sure, we'll you know like you guys are like having fun building a relationship yeah. now you guys have established that connection you know now you guys are working together 
but with that being said, uh, the music that they chose is the one by Mac Miller. Um, what's it called again? Sorry. The Rain. The uh, Rain. Rest in okay. peace, Mac Miller, man. All right, so we're going to play it out. Are you guys all prepared? Oh, of course. Oh, man, I'm excited. All right. I'm I'll go into that first. Stick that out. You guys cool. can start to hear it. Yeah. Premature Legend, go get that. <laughs> Just enough time. Spotify. It's coming. Look. They say the devil's more deceptive than a wedding ring Promises everything but leaves you without anything Now your heart and soul's filled with burdens and a heavy pain Already came through it and you know I kept it moving So please don't talk to me about sacrifice For But you ain't half as nice then turn your back on Christ. That bitch that they could feel me all the way in the afterlife Lit the cush burn like candlelights Getting higher than satellites When niggas selling bent Man, that's right. There ain't no telling if you get a chance to spin that wheel of fortune. Something like the human torch. This dude's my core. I'm soaring like I'm fucking Jordan. What's more important, metamorphing to a butterfly or helping someone's dreams come alive? I'll do both. They don't know me. They asking what type of man am I? A man of God. No favors, though. I can't handle mine. Worst case scenario, I get bigger than Terrio without hitting your playlist or local radio. Yes, I'm saying this from a place where I'm barely known. I don't need no proper burial. Got no problem living through your stereo. And that's just how I feel. Yeah. Oh, I gotta that's keep it real. Man. Shit. And that's just how you feel. Look. Yeah. Look. Me, I'm the prodigy. Selling niggas quality. But if it's not right, no refunds or apologies. Every time I spit, I swear these girls wanna swallow me. I'm about to blast off and I ain't talking astrology. Yeah. Put you on technology. I'm trying to Tell put me. you on technology. <laughs> yeah. Just so that I know you follow me. Yeah. Just so that I know you follow me, yeah. Ferocious flow of a barracuda, the bear of a future to know there's no ah. Sierra missed the rum on the rocks. You know, I started from the bottom, but still come from the top. And now, if that last line was ironic, you didn't get it, I promise. Probably thinking I am obnoxious when I'm unconscious. I'm trying to conquer a true achievement called lucid dreaming. I question myself as a human being. Uh, of true meaning to what you believe in. I'm teaching, we're all even, so why are you beefing? I don't get it. These niggas they ain't living. I'm just trying to be the best I could be, boy. Best what I you could see, be, boy? boy. <laughs> hey, hey. Y'all can't fuck see. with me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the it. Beat, I like boy. it. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh. I like how that fade I out like too. It. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Easy, like something like easy. Like you got I that up. Uh, cool. I like Hell it. yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, thanks for putting that on real quick. I'm gonna put real quick to change the battery. Hold on. Yeah, carnage. All right, carnage. guys. We're well, back real quick just because we got a little technical difficulties. And with that being said, we got three cameras going on now, and we're gonna do for a round two through Dom Kennedy, my type of party. You guys ready? Yeah. You want this? You want to set it off? Yeah. Tap it back and forth. Let's go. Right, let's yeah. See how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Look, set it all right quick. Look, you can expect to fall short if we ain't standing tall. And with my back to the wall, I'm more like Masvidal. You're always tripping when there's bitches or there's cash involved. It's clear to me that you're really not a man at all, see? Look, not a man at all. It's clear to me that you're really not a man at all, see? Not a man at all. It's clear to me that you're really not a man at all. Cause the people you idle who think they're entitled but don't know a thing about survival been leading you wrong. Look, he cannot guide you. He's stuck in a cycle. I think that he need a revival. Just go with that instinct inside you. I do it for those who can see it like I do. Don't need to remind you that pendulum swinging and time is ticking. That's why I ain't tripping about Benjamin Franklin's. And they've been dead long since I was back home when I was capped on. I got cold, homie, you ain't gotta question my backbone I moved to Cali just to show them that my cash loan My bitch, dad, and my... Look, uh I'ma rise when I'm ready, yeah, my eyes might be heavy But I'll grind till I'm wealthy And it's not about that money that you make It's all about the love and trying to rise above the hate So rise up to the challenge, show them all your talent Show them that you're famous, show them you ain't average Make them understand shit, you can make it happen Try to take advantage of everything they take for granted Yeah Try yeah. to take advantage of everything they take for granted. Yeah. It's one way, baby. We all the way to the this top. This my type of party. Hey. I like this. This is my like type this. of party. Shout out Donald Kennedy, man. Yeah. Real shit. Look. 
16's the instrumentals, I'm hurting those I feel the same way even when the curtains close Cause I'm a real nigga, I know for real niggas that will spray you and lay you for dollar bills nigga mm. Cause they prefer the life sentence over living broke And I don't give away a lot, but shit I'm giving hope Ho? It's all falling down, just like precipitation I had a few altercations and some situations Look Check my alignment. Me, just a product in my environment. My I'm still going on the track, I'm still flowing. Remember New York, boy? It's still snowing. It's still snowing. Uh, <laughs> now I'm out with the Cali weather. Smoking on some better. <laughs> Smoking on something better. Uh, let me get it. Look, look. Me, I had to get it back. Now I'm smoking on the pack. Smoking on the pack. Everybody bumping jack. Everybody bumping jack. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, too easy, man. One I way. I like it, man. One way, man. We here. All the way to the top. I appreciate <laughs> it, man. This shit cold, sure. man. Let's go, Ooh. man. Ooh. I'm like flowing with like, damn. <laughs> Love it. Love it, guys. Thanks for fucking putting some show on, oh, man. This is of the course. first time. And this is the first time you heard it here, guys, on the gold voice. Hell yeah. Let's make it happen. Hell yeah. But, I appreciate um, it, man. Yeah, man. Love those, it. like, did you guys just make that up right now? Or now some of it, some yeah. So you, you, you take some about? of it. Some of it you put in your bag as a rapper, you know what I'm saying? And then mm. you just try to take and, like, pick and you try to go off of it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's so cool, yeah. man. Like, I've never been able to experience something like that. So, thank you for giving me that little, you know, little bit of experience. But, uh, shit. Um, we still got a few time. Um, one of the things I also wanted to transition to within this industry like i said you know um there's a lot of people that drop out you know that just stay consistent because like they see the vision for the moment and they stop but you guys have been going since 2015 what what do you guys think that's different to you guys that's kept you going versus people that's kind of like stop right away i'm not gonna stop yeah. and i think jack i, I don't want to speak for jack i'll mm -hmm. let him say what he's gonna say but in 10 years, I'm still gonna be here. That's what it is. It's just, this oh, is man. it. This is like, we do this. This changed music, changed my life. Yeah. Seeing people do what they do and be therapeutic changed uh -huh. me, changed my views on life and made me comfortable to be who I am. So if I can do that for somebody else, mm -hmm. not if, when I do that for somebody else, that's what I'm gonna do. Right, right, that's right. why I'm here. Yeah. As, as far as the quitting, it's, it's a mindset thing, man. It's just like, it's just like working your regular job. That's how I, I take the approach of music. Mm -hmm. If you can go give, wherever you work trader joe's 40 hours a week why not give it to something you love Facts. right why not give it to your craft you know uh -huh. so that's that's just the approach i take with music and i love music I, I mean i know guys working jobs they hate so i'm spending all my time yeah. and stuff and stuff that i love and i actually enjoy doing yeah. it so for me it's like why not i can't quit it's a it's a part of who i am at this point uh-huh so it's that's 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 awesome yeah. two things that i also want to reiterate you guys said seeing it as like 10 years like something that you can fulfill another thing is make it like a job you know i think that's what people mistake it as they mm -hmm. glorify the actual process but don't see with me like for me with this i'm gonna be straight up honest with you if i don't make money for 10 years with this doing this I'm okay with it. And that's, and that's how I feel. That's real shit. I didn't that's, that. that's, you know exactly, that's exactly how I feel. I didn't doubt for that. That's exactly how I feel. You'll learn so much. Yeah. If you take that out of it, you take the money aspect out of it. I haven't made money, too much money from this, but huh. I've learned so much. So if I don't go, if I go 10 years without doing it, I'm gonna learn so much more. I might not, I don't know about producing. I could sit in that lane and learn that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To so figure many, out so many ways uh -huh. you can go with it, man. Exactly. So many ways you can go. Yeah, so many exactly. things you can learn. So many people you're gonna meet. Like, exactly. Look at look at what music brought us right now. I mean, we're sitting right here right <laughs> you now. You guys are talking to some guy yeah, from like, the Philippines. What, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> that's like, that's what, dope. What, what music brought us right here right now. So uh -huh. that's, it's it's a powerful thing, man. It's a powerful yeah. thing, man. Okay. Cool. Cool. So um, you know, I, that was actually one of the the thrill throw off question that I want to bring out. What would you guys do if you guys didn't make money for five years, but you guys technically answered it. But um, we're, we're kind of gonna transition to it. Um, by the way, what, what do you guys, who do you guys look up to? I know you mentioned J. Cole, a little bit of uh, Eminem for you. Uh, Lil but, Wayne, he said Lil Wayne, he was yeah, right on the spot with yeah, that. I know for myself it's uh, a lot of Lil Wayne, okay. J Jay-Z. Just not even to sound cliche as a rapper, mm -hmm. but I, that's that's okay. just what I grew up listening to. Little Wayne, Jay Z, sure. <laughs> that's the bulk of it. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, it. Kendrick Lamar. I'm uh -huh. sorry, I had to throw that in there. No, I'm for sure, for sure. Cassidy, early Cassidy. Um, a lot of people. Just on there. Yeah, there's a. We, I mean, what what do you guys do like outside of music production? Like, guess work out. Do you guys also like? Um, yeah, most definitely uh, work out. You know, health as well. Health as well. Yeah. 
Uh, freaking a little bit of everything. We try to dabble in everything. This mark keeps our head spinning from real estate to fucking <laughs> Bro. throwing on shows to fucking. We're always doing yeah, something. Yeah. And so with that, it's and then Marcus, it's, it's always That's something. Right. It's always something. That's right. It's always something. So we we gonna have to have a conversation with you guys. I've heard some things about you, real estate. You know, so you know, I just spit some facts and have you come back. For April, which is the finance series, we'll have people talk about oh, that. Yeah, that's the great, that's, 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 the, that's the best guy to get for the finance yeah, series, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He, he I'm, knows what's up with that. We're going to share how you got your spot going. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, um, we're introduced to kind of just finishing off. But, like, right now, what, what for anybody who's watching right now or anybody in the future, what what do you think people can look forward to? Like, what do you, what's your guys' vision? Uh, our vision, I mean, Honestly, it's just to keep doing what we're doing, man. Just on a, on a greater scale, of course. Just keep reaching out, touching people, man, with the music. You know what I'm saying? Helping people, hell, if it, if it gets you through a day, if it gets you through a, a fucking dentist appointment, whatever it is. I mean, just just making music for people that they can relate to is the biggest thing for us. And just, just to keep on doing that, man. I think that's our mission, and that's just what we're going to keep on doing for right. the most part. Is just, just keep making music that's relatable, man. That's relatable. Like, like- Content like what do you, what do you guys? You guys stay here in 805, or are you guys gonna think how are you guys gonna expand, or what do uh, you guys? I, I, expansion is definitely on the, uh, it's, it's definitely in the future. I mean, for right now, for right now, I guess we could say we we we're pretty pretty stable right now. Yeah. Floating to 805 and get get our feet wet here a little mm-hmm. bit before it breaks okay. out anywhere else. But that, that's the plan. Yeah, of course. Pl- plant a couple seeds here and then yeah. do something else. Build some connection. Ex- exactly. Let's do this 805 stuff. Exactly. Get it right and then build up and then you know what I'm saying. You just gotta. Be persistent, mm-hmm. stay down, and then exactly. branch out. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, awesome, man. Um, I, I'm already gonna tag you guys, but just for future preferences for anybody listening, where can people find you guys right now? YouTube, music, Instagram, uh, well, you can find us, uh, Dre Jack, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, everything Dre Jack on Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Apple, whatever you guys have. Apple Music, Title. Spotify, Don uh, Kirk, Title uh, at One Way One Love. You know what I'm saying uh-huh. on IG. You know what I'm saying Twitter, Facebook coming. I don't mm-hmm. got that. I need to reach out and start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I gotta rebrand myself with that. So uh-huh. it's cool for sure. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting, getting real you. real <laughs> in uh, in tune with TikTok too. So yeah, TikTok. one Dre Jack on TikTok as well. I'm trying to trying to figure out Dude, my way around. There's TikTok. so much potential. Yeah, yeah, one way one level on with certain people that I know that are into like marketing or like all about like expansion. You know I, they're into TikTok or at least you know I I ask them hey what do you think of TikTok or like are you in it or what are you doing you know like I'll ask them. You it's know. definitely something that's on the rise. Yeah, I've been definitely thinking about it. I'm just like, man, how do I put yeah. this in there, you know? It's it such takes a... like one small video just to blow you up. Like, uh, I had a friend I played like Xbox with for years, and uh, he blew up out of nowhere on TikTok. He has like a million plus followers, and it, he's, grew in, he's growing his Instagram off of that, and then now he's starting YouTube videos yeah. off all of that, all of all off of TikTok. Uh-huh. So that's why I, t- I, t- I try to beat it into their heads, like, yo, post stuff every day. Like, yeah. content, content is key, content, man. Like, you content know what I'm saying? Content I'm is on key. that right now. I'm just like, dude, how, how can I post daily, man? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, surround myself with more people like that. Yeah. We gotta find more people. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not like that, but I'm trying to be more. Like yeah, that. You know honestly, once you just get into it, like yeah. you tune yourself, you're just make it a routine. Like, once you become aligned with who you say you are mm-hmm. and who you want to be seen as with who you say you are in social media, I think that becomes more like aligned with your content. You start thinking of, oh, hey, this type of content represents me exactly. Mm. You know, as 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 you build up over time, I feel like from my experience, that's what's become more sustainable. You know, you don't want to do something where like, oh, I'm not comfortable with that, but you're trying it out. You know, it's not as authentic. But like over time, as you just kind of like make make your way through, figure things out, look just like, don't be a consumer. Look at it from a, like, a, what are they doing and why are they doing that? And then be like, hmm, you know, now you're thinking like a marketer. Why are they doing that? Like, don't look at your friends. Like, I'm going to be completely fucking honest. I hate to say this for people who are watching my podcast. I mute people who's not using their platform to a certain standards that I want. Not because, like, I hate their I content. Do the same, I do the same thing. I'm, I'm just being honest, yeah. you know? And that's because I want to filter my mind, mm, you know? That's powerful. Yeah. Like, I want to filter it so that I know what to do next. And it's still something I'm working on. However, like, it's something that I think is very powerful. It's, it's, it's more or less of a thing if... I think we got the same thing. If mm-hmm. I can't learn anything from you, it's kind of like yeah. I mean, what's, look, like I'm what's saying, the point? I'm saying if you're doesn't matter, you're poor or rich or whatever. Exactly, like your status is. 
but like I I look at people's character. Yeah, so bad, everybody. Too, yeah. You know, like I'm sure they might be active in social media some other way, you know, or outside of life they might have done it. And oftentimes I don't do anything to them. So, hmm, I wonder well the, when they'll post, you know, to see their minds more. But when I see what they post, I'm just like, oh okay, well, that's enough. <laughs> or hey, I want more of that. I want to see what's going on next. Yeah. You know, I literally put people who have been in my podcast as my close friends, which you guys will probably see. So I haven't posted them anything, but the reason why is because when I have something more exclusive, only you guys will see it. Yeah. Gosh. Okay. That's you dope. know. That's dope. Yeah. But other than that, um, anything else that you guys want to leave out before? Shout out my boy Shep. He in the back. Y'all can't see him, but that's yeah. my brother for life. No, Shep no, no, is in love you. Name. Premature right. Legend is out now. Premature Straight. Legend, go cop Premature that. If you don't cop that, I'm going to have right to put now. hands on you. No, I'm <laughs> right now. Nice. All right, cool, guys. Thanks for being on, guys. Hey, I appreciate you for having us, man. Thank you Absolutely. again. Absolutely. My man. Shit. All right, bro. Hey, bro. Give me a head take. Give me a shout out there. Man. All right, guys. I just figured something out. Cool, man. Look where I'm from, everybody grew up up in Wheezy. Where I'm from, niggas really risk it all for Yeezy. Where I'm from, I told them I was leaving, they ain't believe me. I made it out from where I'm from, but shit, they need me. Where I'm from, everybody grew up up in Wheezy. Where I'm from, niggas really risk it all for Yeezy. Where I'm from, I told them I was leaving, they ain't believe me. I made it out from where I'm from, but shit, they need me. I did it, but I beat the charge. Please forgive me, God. And I just cop my own laser. Don't need nobody guards. Cause I can't trust another nigga with my whole life. I'm trying to make a meal and residuals. What your goals like? Marcus told me get that check and he was so right. Before they say Illuminati, show him what your soul like. The money stay in the pocket as Nick Foles like. I let my light shine like mama said and it was so bright. Young nigga taking off without the landing strip. One way we did this on our own was never handed shit. But I still jump on beats and dismantle shit and drop consistent fire. This shit flame like when the candle lit. Count my points and assist. Treat these beats like sandwiches and Oxnard. Smoking on that pack, that's where the hand is in. I said I treat these beats like sandwiches and Oxnard. Smoking on that pack, that's where the hand is in. Where I'm from, everybody grew up up in Wheezy. Where I'm from, niggas really risk it all for Yeezy. Where I'm from, I told them I was leaving, they ain't believe me. I made it out from where I'm from, but shit, they need me.